This is the 2020 Math Kangaroo Level 7A Prom Number 28. Four children are in the four corners of a 10 meter by 25 meter pool. Their trainer is standing somewhere on one side of the pool. When he calls them, three children get out and walk the shortest distance possible around the pool to meet him. They walk 50 meters in total. What is the shortest distance the trainer needs to walk to get to the fourth child? A, 10 meters, B, 12 meters, C, 15 meters, D, 20 meters, or E, 25 meters. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test. And here is where we'll be doing the solution. So to start, as you can see, I've drawn the pool that's 10 meters by 25 meters. And the circles at each corner represent um, the children because we have one child at each of the four corners of the pool. So we need to choose three children that are going to get out and walk the shortest distance possible to their trainer. So we notice that no matter how we choose the three children, two of the children are going to be diagonally opposite each other. Without loss of generality, let's choose these two first. And let's place our trainer, say, here. This child must walk along the side length of the rectangle and over to get to the trainer, and this child walks across this side length. So what is the total distance the two walk, so the distance each walks added together? Well, we see that that sum appears to be 10 meters, one side length, plus 25 meters, the other side length, total of 35 meters. But let's, let's place the trainer somewhere else to make sure that this continues to be true. So let's put our trainer there. Again, this child walks along that side length to, to meet the trainer. And this child will walk across this side length down. Again, we have a total distance walked of 35 meters. And that's what we have right here for two kids on opposite corners of the diagonal. The sum of the distances between each child and the trainer is 35 meters. So from our problem, we know that we have the three kids that walk 50 meters in total. So if the kids that are diagonally opposite each other walk 35, that third kid must walk 50 minus 35 meters, which is 15 meters. Again, without loss of generality, let's say that third kid is this kid, and that kid walks 15 meters. So what do we need to find? We need to find the distance between the trainer and the fourth child. So again, this continues to be true. We're trying to find the distance between this fourth child and the trainer. Well, we know that the two kids opposite each other, the sum of the distances between each kid and the trainer's 35 meters. So the person opposite the fourth child is this child that walked 15 meters. But again, we still need that sum of 35. So 35 minus 15, the distance between this fourth child and the trainer must be 20 meters in order to keep that diagonal sum of 35 meters. And that is equal to answer choice D, 20 meters. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.